I'm just a lonely boy, lonely in blue shorts, shaking my flip flops, cause I stepped in some poo. What's going on everybody? So today I want to give a big shout out to Teresa Westfall, Dead Betty on Instagram. We've become friends. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for uh, contributing to me on Patreon. It means so much. It's allowing me to continue to make these videos. Teresa, we've had some long talks and you're so cool and I really appreciate it. And if you want to contribute to my Patreon, there's extra videos going up twice a week at least from all over the place just for Patreon viewers. Teresa, thank you so much. Now, today's video. What? <laughs> I know you're gonna dig this. What's going on again, everybody? How you doing? So here I am today at the Allura Quarry in Allura, Ontario. And this is where they shot the swimming scenes from It. Now I've been out here before. That was in the winter time. So I decided to come back in the summertime and with some friends, I just went swimming. I went up to here. Up to here was enough. It's cold, but it was nice. It was refreshing. And yes, I was making fun of somebody wearing uh, flip flops. What? Come on, we all do. So I'm gonna show you some, oh God, here he is again. He just made eye contact with me. Dude, I'm sorry. Hey, your buddy with flip-flops is right behind you. He's tailing you. Hey, nice flip-flops. Where'd you get them? Uh, Sears, where'd you get yours? Oh, uh, just a little store down on Bay Street. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. I'm going that way. Okay, see ya. Nice flip-flops. You too, man. Well, that's how people with flip-flops talk to each other. It's true. But, uh, you know, I'm not against, I'm not against flip-flops, especially in the summertime. I mean, I'm not wearing flip-flops, but still, flip-flops are fine. Flip-flops are fine. Flip-flops are fine. So, I'm gonna take you and I'm gonna show you the two scenes that were shot here, where they were shot. While well, they're in the water too, I'll show you that. And, uh, oh yeah, for the guy that said that, uh, left a message on one of my latest videos, I said, drop the stupid sound effects. I'm sorry, I'm sorry you don't like my sound effects. Okay, fine. My stupid sound effects are no longer. So are we done with the sound effects? No! We're not. Sorry, dude. I like them. All right, let's go down here. I'm gonna show you where the kids were sitting on the rocks. Right down here. So yeah, this is my third video about it, but you know, and I've got a lot more movie locations in Toronto I'm gonna film, but it keeps creeping up all the time, no pun. It is a creepy movie. And the locations for it are so cool. That's why I like shooting them. But here's where the kids were sitting, right down here. Here's where the kids were sitting, right down here. Right down here. So up there is where the kids jumped from. And I'm gonna take you up there. Oh, there are my friends. What, see, see them waving over there? Here, I'll zoom in. There you go. All right, you got your 15 seconds of fame. That's it, that's all you need. All right, so right down here. It looks like they would have jumped off over here, right? There, but nope, it was there, which is off uh, limits now. Not allowed to go up to that part. Oh, no, never mind, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Not allowed to, not supposed to. We'll see about that. Here's where they were sitting. Right here. So I can tell that it's this one because the rock's a lot more jagged. Where my friends are over there, they're all very smooth. 
and there's huge signs right behind that. Those signs, I've come out here before it was even filmed. And those signs have been, I just fell. Those signs have been there for a long time. <laughs> My friends are getting funny because they're watching me, I just fell. F you. But yeah, the rocks are a lot more jagged. The boys are sitting up here. Beverly was laying right here. Because you can see these trees in the background. Right here. Those trees end right there, and there's no trees on the other side. And like I said, there's big signs. That's how you know it's right here. It goes right down into the water, as you can see. It's pretty cool, huh? Look how gorgeous this place is. The Allura Quarry. Yeah, so right here, this is where Beverly was sunbathing while all the boys were quite agog. And what song were they listening to? Bust a Move by Young MC. Next day's function, high class luncheon. Food is served in your stone cold munching. Right here, out, right here. Right down there. bit of a walk so now we're going up here I'm gonna take you around over up to there where they shot the cliff jumping scenes now the thing about the scenes from that is if you look closely I believe the kids were jumping into green screen when they land in the water that's either a stunt double or that's green screen it's really hard to tell I think it is somewhat deep enough for someone to jump into, so it could have been stuntable. But if you look at the ripples that uh, form, it looks uh, digitally manipulated, like me. Completely digital. I'm actually doing this from home right now. So, give us I'm back. It's just a little hill, I get a little tired. Get a little winded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when I came out here a couple years ago, Parked over there in the vet clinic area. This was all closed off and the police saying you can't come in. I just walked around and walked in. There, I just admitted to you, trespassing. Oh boy, big deal. It's Ontario. This is my hood. That's the way down to the quarry, through that way. We actually go swimming, the sandy beach. And then we're gonna go walk up that way, up through the forest. That's about it. At any time. At any time? Okay, so we're gonna walk all the way around and we're gonna get to where the kids jumped. Security watching. For what? I'm not sure. But yeah. So you see, there's the rocks down there from the film right there, where they were sitting. And my friend's down there waving again. Yeah, hello, we get it. All right. Okay, we're gonna walk over here now. Next day's function, high-class luncheon. Food is served near Stone Cold Munchin. Okay, gotta get past these people. Do not make eye contact with me. I will throw you into the quarry. So I'm gonna show you the exact rock they jumped off of over there you're walking with me we're doing this together like all of my videos I'm bringing you with me at all times okay if you haven't seen it I highly suggest it it it's quite good I enjoyed it I've seen it like three times now and then a lot of times, because I've made two filming location videos about it already, so I've scanned through so much of it. We're getting close. We're so close to where the kids jumped. Ready? Let's go. Hmm. Canada. Oh. Let's go. 
right there. That's where they jump from. We're getting there. We're getting there. Let's do this. Uh, around the uh, quarry. But they were taken out for the film, which I don't know how the hell they would manage to do that because they are heavy. I lifted one of them up for about 25 minutes over my head, this pure cement block. And I mean, I'm a pretty strong guy. I fight a lot. Obviously, if you see my channel, I do a lot of fight videos. So I'm really strong. But yeah, I don't know who could have done that. Flower. But yeah, they had to take these out. Right there, that's where they jump from. We're getting there, we're getting there. Let's do this. No, not much of a fight. I'd fight a kid, like under 10. I, I would, you know, if I had to, like if I was cornered. That's about it though. Um, yeah, they made eye contact too. But yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so I'd fight a kid, you know, or a squirrel. But uh, against another adult, no. Male or female, no thanks, no, I'll lose. Here we are. That didn't take too long at all. Oh no, it's the next one over. Whoops. Is this entertaining? Well, I wanted to show you. Here we are. Now I can't go over this thing. I can, but you can tell by this jagged edge here of rocks, this is where it was. The rocks are a little bit of a different color now. I don't know if they painted them or what the hell they did to make them there. They obviously did not read this sign. This sign was not here. Yeah, they took it all out. They took out all these things for the movie or they digitally took them out. I'm not sure. I was asking the guy that works at the front. He had no clue. I had to tell him where they filmed it. And you can tell because they cleared out this part here. Don't forget, it's been two and a half years since they filmed here. All this brush. But these trees are all in the background. When Beverly comes running. Right through here. And actually what they did, I'm walking back now to show you something because I forgot about this part because I was helped out two years ago by somebody who, who helped me. They cheated the shot because they shot the jumping parts for the boys over there, but Beverly comes running from this part here. So it makes it look, right? She comes through this way and then they cheat to over there. So it's not filmed the direct line, jumping into the water. Beverly comes running, cuts over there. She jumps. The boys were spitting. See how far they get their spit the furthest. And then they say they can't be shown up by a girl. So they have to jump. And they jump into there where that guy is. Washing off all that suntan oil. This isn't the Jersey Shore. Although I'm dripping and pouring with suntan oil right now because I'm a grease ball too. Not that you're a grease ball, dude. Not that you're listening. You're bigger than me, you'll kick my ass. I'll beat up your son though. I won't. I'm just saying. All right, so, another way you can tell that this is where the kids were is this. You see those, see there's where the kids were sitting. They end up sitting over there. But you see that sandy beach, and that's the only sandy beach that's here. And that's in the far background when they show the boys, when they're about to jump, is that beach right there. Boom. But behind, that's not where Beverly ran from. She ran from over there. They just cheated it. All right, here we go. And actually, wait, 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 I'm not done. That's Eminem in the ringer, because I'm not done. Because I forgot about something. Security guard last year told me, or a year and a half ago, but they weren't allowing me to come in to film, but they were telling me all about it. <laughs> but I still came in, but I didn't come up to this part. I only filmed, I think, down there in that part of the video, because it was freezing cold. These poles here where the boys jump, I forgot, they told you, these ones are removable. These poles are removable. You see, that's how they did it. This is the exact spot right there. 
and you can see they, the tree would have been a little lower. It's a brand new tree. You see that beach in the background. The boys are all standing here, and you can see that jagged edge right there where it goes in and out. But they took these poles out, and then they cheated the shot over to where Beverly is over there, where she comes running. But of all of the poles, these are the only ones that are removable. Was it just for the movie? I don't know. Like, I mean, like, why would they have the, I guess if they have to, if, why would they have, out of all these poles here, why are these ones the only ones that are removable? Does that make sense to anybody? Can somebody explain to me why they have, I guess, safe, safety, security, emergency, emergency. A little bit of Hollywood magic. That's how they did it. And they just would have covered up those uh, cement poles. Shot a little tight shot. Tight shot. And that's it. Took out the poles. And the cement blocks, still there. That's how they did it. I forgot. Oh, I forgot. I can't remember everything. I can't remember anything. Scott on tape. Scott at tape. Scott has tape. What? I see, I can't remember what I call my channel. Aww. They just kind of hold on to each other's flotation device. Get out of the water! Look, this guy, look, look at the hero coming to save them, They're coming to Mac on them. Dude. Dude, you're not even, no, to your left. To your left, Mac on the girls. You gotta go to your left. He's not gonna make it. There's no life preserver. I can't jump this far. No, he's struggling. All right, dude, you're on your own. Go to the swan ladies, they'll help you. No, he's shaking his head. No, he's gonna do it. Oh, look at these two. Okay, you two are on two black inner tubes, you two dudes. And the two girls are here on the pink swans. Get together, see? Look. Girls, guys, bring them together. You, be the felicitator. Be the, uh, the, the wingman to the, to the two guys. The two guys need one wingman. You be the wingman. Bring them together. I don't think anybody has any interest in each other. It's like a giant pickup spot. It's one lonely picnic bench. I'm just a lonely boy wearing flip-flops. Here's where they filmed it. Those look like pink dots. Look at them. They're having a the time of their lives. Oh boy. They have no idea that that water is parasitic filled. There are parasites in the water. Parasites, and by that I mean my friends. Get out of the water. You gotta hear this one guy coughing. Oh, belly flop. There's one dude coughing away down there. He's gonna be in his coffin if he keeps coughing like that. Hey, yo! <sighs> All right. This went a little longer than I thought. Have a great day. Peace out. I'm just making fun of people. People make fun of me. I don't give a fuck. So, it, film right here. It Chapter 2 is coming out soon. I'll probably wait to see it on DVD. Yeah, But I will see uh, that alligator movie that's coming out though. Or alligator, whatever the hell it's called. Alligator, the alligator's in, a, in somebody's attic in somebody's house. Killer alligators. That's all I need. That's all I need in a movie. I want either a guy with a knife killing people in a house or a street or a, or a camp or I want killer alligators. I'm so happy. A killer alligator with a knife you think I like that? I wouldn't, because that's not real. That can't happen. Now, Jason, that's real. Michael Myers, that's real. These are real people. And giant killer alligators stuck in a house because of a storm that attacked people? That can happen too. It happened to a friend of mine. You don't look it up. It's not on Google yet. It's that new. All right. Peace. Out. There's a guy playing guitar for his girl right there. Very romantic. I'm gonna interrupt them. You ready? You saw them, right? You saw them right there. There's his head through there. Okay. It's a very romantic moment. 
I don't want to disturb them. Play Freebird! <laughs> 